What's up guys, we are back with some Battlefield 1. We're gonna jump into the final war story. I have gone through all of them now. One, two, three, four, and now we are on five with Lawrence of Arabia and the desert campaign against the Ottoman Empire. And again, I am playing on hard difficulty and no HUD as much as possible to make this as hard as we possibly can. Now there's three different chapters in here. I'm gonna break it up into three different videos. This is the first. This might be my favorite one of all five stories because there is some freedom in sort of how you want to go about some of this. First one we're gonna start with right now is Hidden in Plain Sight. I believe you just start out with a knife and no gun, and this is gonna be a stealth mission here. Let's get to it. There's gonna be a cutscene, you can watch that, or you could jump right into the action using the chapters below on YouTube. This is spring 1918 and the deserts of the Middle East. And this is based on the true story of the British officer Lawrence. There's still some debate over how fictional it is versus non-fictional with the history there, but maybe some of you saw Lawrence of Arabia. The Arabian Desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. All right, so we're jumping right into the action now. We're going to infiltrate this camp here. Starting with the binoculars, you're supposed to mark your enemies. But again, I like to make this as hard as possible. So I'm going to turn off the HUD so we have no help whatsoever on hard difficulty. And the goal is to get through this without dying once. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. I feel like if we take out this guy, that guy all the way to the right is going to see us. Alright, so we might have to wait until he's out of view. We also don't want him to see us. I'm going to lay down here. Let's see if we can get away with not being seen, and then... If he keeps going that way, then we can take him out once he gets on the other side of this rock. Alright, there we go. Now, no one should see us at this point. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of you. Okay, excellent. Now, we got him down without this other guy being alerted, so I'm gonna go all the way around to the other guy now. So you gotta be patient with this stuff if you want to remain stealthy. So we're gonna run back up here and go around the other way. Because there's my next target's this guy over here. And I think we might be able to take him down without alerting anyone else. Okay, I can throw lures, perfect. All right, so we can throw a lure as well to try to lure him away. We're gonna do that right now, ready? All right, so that's going to lure him to there, and then I'm going to keep drawing him in this way to get him to come to the other side of this rock. And that'll be two men down if we can get him.
Here he comes, but we want to keep luring him around because we don't want these other guys to see. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to take him down. <laughs> brutal. Alright. Ugh. Brutal. Alright, so now we have this horse and we have this tent over here with some additional weapons because I'd like to get something better than this gun. So let's see what we can get in here. Or we try to attack these other guys. Yeah, now this is something much better here. Alright, now we have two guns. This one's much, much better. And then what do we have in this crate? This is going to be a nade. I will take that. Okay, now. How do we want to do this? So we could just hop right on this machine gun. If we want. I mean, that's one approach. Should we try it? I mean, that's pointed right at everyone. I've never tried that before. We could try that approach. Let's do it. I'm just seeing if there's anyone, like, over here. Okay, so there is a guy right there as well. Oh, wow. This crazy storm just came in. Whoa. Okay, maybe we're less likely to be seen now because of the sandstorm. Oh, where'd that guy just go? He's right below me. Alright, I'm gonna try to keep luring him in now. Let's lure him over here. Let's see if he falls for it. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be another guy down. We're gonna lure him right in between these rocks. Ready? feel bad for him. Okay, so he got a shot off. That's not good. That's gonna alert everyone. Alright, we're gonna jump on this gun right now. Ready? Here we go. Oh, we can't stay on this very long. He's got mortars. That's why. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're injured. We gotta stay down. We gotta stay down. Oh my god, we're getting mortared. This is nuts. I'm gonna hop on the horse. Whoa. Okay, we're running away. We're gonna get some cover here. Now we've got them kind of all think thinking that I'm over there now, so I'm gonna go this way. See if this kind of throws them off a little bit. Oh my gosh, alright, they see me. Alright, here we go, here we go. Going over here. If we can get this gunner, where is he? I see him. Got him. We got him. Got to keep the guys off that gun. I don't see anyone else at the moment. I think everyone kind of ran over to where I was. I don't know. I'm gonna move in a little bit though. Go into the train. Where did those guys go? I have no idea where everyone just went. 
something must have gone over to where I was. I mean, I guess we, we've taken out quite a few. I know there's gotta be someone else in. There's no way it was that easy. I can hear them. I can hear them talking. Here's someone right here. We're stealthy. We're stealthy. Alright, I think that's everyone. I could have sworn there was more guys, though. Alright, well, that is how it's done. Now we're going to go into this hatch in this train. So we're going to end up in here. We got to go uh, from the roof of it. So go up this way. Jump on the roof. Yeah, I don't see anyone else. And that is it. We did it. Now I think there's going to be a cutscene after I do this. And I believe that will complete the first part. Yep, because this is what we're after. You did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies. Your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, oh you animal. Zara. Understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one. You can never stop the progress of machines! One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. So we're actually playing as this woman who's helping Lawrence of Arabia. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans have named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. 
The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. Come on, one more shot. Get down, get down. Yes. Whoa. Someone just threw a nade. That was crazy. I could hear that going by me. It was like... <laughs> Goodbye. All right, we got him. We got him. Oh! Here we go. Here we go. 